Hi everyone, Jeffy here and welcome back to Around the World in Many Days. Today's episode is number 18 and it's titled Sneaks and Adlers. Now last time I promised a maybe even a weirder crossword that we have, than we, what we had last time. Let's see what we have this time. So uh, reading the preamble from Gladys. Uh, dear Puzzling, this is an I have no idea what I'm doing crossword. The clues are a mix of 10 uh, standard crossword clues, 11 cryptic clues, and 10 printer's devil clues, in no particular order. Sneak answers, thin lines with the circle at the top, uh, that's going to be these in the grid, are written downwards starting from the number itself. Adler answers, uh, thick rectangular lines, climb upwards from the number itself as indicated. Across answers, uh, so Adler answers would be these, these go upwards. And the cross answers start from the bottom left corner and make their way upwards row by row, each sharing one or more letters with the previous answer. So starting here and going this way. Uh, note that this means that the answers on every second row are written right to left. So the directions it changes here. So that is the crossword. And then we have a grid puzzle as well. Uh, also, the both puzzles in one grid are, are below. But I mean, good luck if you solve them in one grid. Better use the solve links to solve them separately. That's that's what I'm going to do anyway. So uh, let's open the grid for the grid puzzle, which we are going to solve first. So the large letters and cells shaded in dark gray form an Akari puzzle, also known as light up. The letters A to E in the grid stand for the number 0 to 4, each used exactly once. Figure out which letters correspond to which numbers and fill the grid by placing lamps in unshaded cells. A number in a cell indicates how many lamps are adjacent to that cell horizontally or vertically. A lamp illuminates every cell it sees horizontally or vertically. Lamps cannot see through shaded cells. And in the fin uh, filled grid, every unshaded cell must be illuminated by at least one lamp and no lamp must be illuminated by another lamp. So all in all, um, I'm going to uh, use shading here, uh, orange is a lamp, and this uh, light green means uh, uh, a cell that can't be a lamp. So two lamps lamps can't see each other like this, and uh, the cells that are seen by this lamp, so horizontally or vertically, but not behind these walls, these are illuminated now, and every cell must be either a lamp or illuminated by a lamp. And also these uh, letters, which stand for num numbers, indicate how many of these four cells are lamps. So if this was a four, these would all be lamps. Okay, we're going to solve this first, but let's read the rest of the preamble first. Uh, today I have visited an important religious site. People have traveled uh, far and wide to see this place for centuries, and I guess today it was my turn. Can you guess where I am? Love Gladys. Okay, so we're looking for either the name of a religious site or a place with a famous religious site. Okay, so let's start solving the Akari then. So uh, normally, if you if you are solving just a regular Akari puzzle, you do have numbers here, and those tell you uh, numbers tell you a lot of uh, how you can how you can start. For example, if this A was four, you could immediately place the lamps and then mark also everything that's illuminated by those lamps. That would, that would If this was a 4, it would give us a lot of these squares, right? But uh, obviously we don't have any numbers here, so the first thing we are going to have to do is figure out what letters can be what numbers. And we can start limiting out. Uh, of course, uh, each number from this 0 to 4, uh, which are all the legal options because we are counting these four cells so it's going to be from 0 to 4 so each of these is going to be different and that also means that each number is used because we have five different uh, letters in the grid so that means we are going to have a 4 somewhere one of these letters is going to be a 4 and the 4 is the most restricted number uh, because if you have a 4 you immediately know all, all that all that there is to know about the lamps if this was a three we did we couldn't say anything we couldn't say this is a lamp because it could be a three like this and this could be empty but with four it's very simple now four is also helpful for us because a lot of these can't be four so e can't be four because the maximum 
lamps, this E can see is three. A can't be four, or three for that matter, but matter because uh, A only see, uh, sees these two adjacent cells here in the corner. So A is zero, one, or two. So A and E cannot be four. So it's B, C, or D. Well, if we try to make B four, we immediately run into a problem. These see each other, that's not allowed. So B cannot be 4, and D can and C can. <clears throat> so that limits the, the, the options for 4 quite a lot. Now these uh, A and C next to each other also are limited in some way. They have some kind of relationship. For example, if C was 4, that would immediately make A 2. And even better than that, whatever A is, um, A is going to be this plus this, so 0, 1, or 2. But C cannot be the same, so these can't both be empty, because then C would be whatever this is, the sum of these is, and A would be the same. So one of these has to be a lamp. <clears throat> now there's a, lamp, there's a cell in the grid, which is this one, that both of these cells see. So whichever the lamp is, let's say it was this, this couldn't be a lamp because it sees this lamp, or it was if it was here, this can't be a lamp. So in any case, we cannot put a lamp here. And another way to show it is if you put a lamp here, C immediately is made the same as A, and that's not allowed. So this can't be a lamp. Now I'm not going to mark this as uh, green because that's gonna, going to confuse us, because green means illuminated. So we're just going to have to rem remember that this can't be a lamp. But um, that should immediately, in fact, tell us something. So if this can't be a lamp, then D can't be 4. So making D 4 would run into this problem. C and A are now the same. So D is not 4. So A was not 4, B was not 4, E and D were not 4. So C is the only option for the 4. And we can fill that in and fill in everything that these lamps, every cell that these lamps see. I think that's all the cells. So now, not only do we know C is 4, we know A is 2. And we know B also, because B can't be 2, because A was already 2, 2 is taken. These have to be different numbers. So... That means B can't, no, this can't be a lamp, so uh, B must be 1. Um, so we have 1, 2, and 4 taken, and E and D therefore must be 0 and 3. Now D can't be 3, because this D only has two available spots for the lamp. So that's not enough for the 3 because 2 is less than 3. Surprise, surprise. So E must be the 3. So this E we can already uh, fill in because it's it only has 3 options and we must fill all of them. And then again illuminate all of these cells seen by these lamps. What else? Now this takes, this can, neither of these, oops, sorry, these, these cells can be uh, lamps because they see another lamp. A has to see two lamps, or oh, has to have two lamps next to it, sorry. So that's going to be this and this. And again, illuminate everything that they see. And now since this lamp took away this option from the E, which is three, we now only have three options here, and we must illuminate all of these. And also remember to illuminate upwards here. And also this one. You have to be careful to mark everything green that we can, because otherwise we we run into issues later. Okay, so D was zero. So this can't be a lamp. The only way this can be illuminated, the only way, uh, the only cell that he sees that can still be a lamp, is this one. So this must be a lamp. And that is this, this, and this. Uh, now this cell sees no 
other cell that can be a lamp, so it must itself be a lamp. Same is true of this. The only way to illuminate it is to put a lamp here. Now B is one, and this is the only option that illuminates this, and the only way to illuminate this is to put a lamp there. So that's going to be our, uh, our field grid for the Akari. And we're going to need this after we solve the crossword, but, um, but I'm going to uh, bring up the crossword grid now, and let's briefly go through the rules again, because as, as I said, this is a completely weird grid for the crossword. So let's see, um, where do we have the crossword? So here it is. So these, uh, these clues start from the top, and then these rectangular things go upwards. And, uh, and the cross answers wriggle around from here and, and end in this corner. And for the uh, uh, cross answers, we also have to share letters with the previous answer. So if we, ha if we had, uh, let's say this was one, and then the next, was, uh, next answer was eight, then we would have, have to write them like this, so they share this E here. But they can share multiple letters as well. <clears throat> okay, uh, I think we can start looking at the clues now. So clues are at the bottom. So we have a cross here. We have sneaks, which are these down, uh, down clues. And then we have adlers, which are these up, these climbing clues. Um, so let's see, what do we start with? Do we start with these, which would help with the across answers, or do we go with the across answers first? I am going to start with the across answers, and once we have a letter or two for these, uh, these sort of crossing, uh, crossing answers, then I'm going to look at them. I don't want to look at them last, because once we fill all of these with the across answers, we already have the answers for those. But I also don't want to solve these cold, so I'm going to start with the cross answers. And once we have some letters for these, these crossing ones, we are going to look at them in that order. Obviously, multiple ways to do this, but that's how we are going to continue. So we are going to start with 8a, and these are in order. So 8a is going to start here, and then we're going to proceed in, proceed from here upwards. Uh, and remember this, we don't know what type each clue is, so it could be printer's devilry. A quick recap, printer's devilry uh, is uh, what you, you have to insert the answer somewhere, somewhere in, the, in the clue for it, uh, for it to make sense as a sentence. And uh, crypt clues we've had, and standard crossword clues, obviously, we've had as well. We know what those are. So I'm going to go into 8a and see if we can figure out what type of clue this is. So, uh, papers di displaced in unexpected event leading to stress. Now, this is going to be a cryptic clue. Uh, first of all, obviously, you can start, you can think of what word would this mean if it was a straight clue, a standard clue, and it's not clear what what single word of six letters would ever mean something like this. Whereas you have some uh, vocabulary here that would indicate a cryptic clue, like leading to wordplay, do something which leads to uh, the answer. Um, so, uh, something displaced in, you remove something in another word. So, either unexpected, ev uh, the letters event in an unexpected way, in an unexpected order, or a word meaning unexpected event. Uh, you remove a word for papers, and that gives you um, a word for stress. Now, it doesn't have to be stress uh, as a noun here. It can be uh, to stress also. Um, but here it's noun. Uh, 
but not stress as in like you're stressed, but if you have stress on a particular syllable, you have an accent. So unexpected has this accent on this word peck, the stress on a certain syllable. So stress and accent are synonymous in that sense. An accent is six letters by my count. So how, how does that's going to be the answer here. So how does that work? This is the definition. And we here we have a word play. So papers, a short a word for papers is ID. Someone ask, asks for your papers, they ask for your ID. And if you remove ID from accident, unexpected event, you get accent. Now, you could keep count of what, uh, what types of clue we've had and how many of them. It might help to rule out uh, like certain possibilities, but we're not going to do that. I think it's going to be not that difficult to see what type each clue is. So we're going to just do it as we go. But if you're going to want to be really thorough about it, you might keep keep track of whether you've had 10 standard clues already or 11 uh, cryptic clues or so forth. OK, but um, we are going to continue from here. And now since we have this crossing uh, crossing letters, let's look at the, the crossing answers then immediately. So this was a down clue, a sneak. And if you didn't realize what this means, I mean, obviously it's um, referring to snakes and ladders, which this grid kind of looks like this. Snakes go down and ladders climb up. But I didn't want to use snake and ladder, so it's sneak and idler now. Uh, six, six down, I guess, would be this clue here. So piece of music with, with accompany, well, with accompaniment for one singer. Um, now this is a noun phrase that could define something. So it, it could be a straight clue. It could be a, a cryptic as well. Piece of is an indicator in in uh, in cryptics. But uh, here, this is going to be st just a straight definition for the word aria. An aria is a piece of music with accompaniment for one singer. So that was a straight answer there. We had one cryptic, and now let's look at nine nine up then. This is going to be the last one here. So five letters, starting with EN. And it says, opposing forces devastated Yemen. Uh, now that's not going to be a straight answer. There's not a five letter word that means opposing forces devastated Yemen. Um, this is a cryptic clue. And it means, the answer means opposing forces. And the lone indicator in this clue is devastated. If these letters are devastated, they are destroyed, they are put in a different order. And if you anagram the word Yemen, you get the word enemy, opposing forces. So that's all the crossing answers that we can solve at this point. Let's go back to the the acrosses. And remember, we have to share this T, but we could start from this C or, or this E, we don't know. But at least this T is going to be shared with this next answer, which is 8B. Sort of oven from part of South Asia. Sort of can be an indicator in cryptics, part of also, but this is also a um, pretty straightforward definition a straightforward definition. Um, and there is a seven letter oven from South Asia, which starts with T, which is Tandor. And that is just the answer here. And now we do have one crossing letter for this seven down. So let's look at that. Seven down is here. This setback uh, should note Russ from accomplishing our goal. 
Okay, so Russ. Um, Russ is a name, a person's name. To know someone, I mean, um, first of all, this uh, what what you should see see here is that there's there are multiple reasons why this doesn't make sense as as written, like our. You would say. Uh, um, um in the first person plural you would say uh, our goal but here it's russ so he it would be his goal right and to know someone from accomplishing something it doesn't mean anything that's not the right word to use here so uh all that should push you towards the uh interpretation that this is printer's devilry so something is missing from this sentence that prevents it from making sense and it's a four letter word and we don't know in the we had a printer's devilry puzzle before but in that one we did have a definition somewhere in the clue that hinted at what we are looking for what kind of word what is it mean its meaning here we have we don't have any such definition here we just have to find a four letter word that would make all of this make some kind of sense now, Russ is a weird word. Why would you put Russ there? Um, so it's going to be some, and obviously no doesn't, I mean, that's not the correct verb to use from accomplishing something. So this us is important. Us, do something to us from accomplishing our goal is uh, makes more sense. Now, this, if we put something here, should no, and then something, something, de us. So that's going to be the, the key part here. And should no, uh, that needs a T, should not, this should not do something. So we need a T here. This setback should not, and three letters, uh, the third of it, which is N, and de, us from accomplishing our goals. It's going to be the word hinder. So the the corrected sentence would read: This setback should not hinder us from accomplishing our goal. And the word we inserted between this O and this D was thin. T H I N. Inserting the word thin fixes this sentence, and the answer therefore is thin. Now that's all the crossing letters for now. Let's move forward. And we we were left with this R here. So we're going to need to uh, share this R. And this I is going to be part of the next answer then. So HC, here we are. Italy's Senate loses its decision-making uh, decision making Po West. Han, 50% of the members are present. Uh, now Po is a river, the name of a river. Uh, Han uh, can be a people, a Chinese people, or Han is also the, the name of a river. But uh, this should also immediately read as something that's uh, that's missing something. That's going to be a printer's devil clue as well. So, Italy's Senate loses something, and members are present, both referring to, to, to politics. So the, the ending and the and the, uh, the start and the end make sense. Now, Po and Han here don't really make sense. And obviously, 50%, we're not going to be putting anything in between these numbers here. So if we assume this is correct, 50% of the members are present, what does Italy's Senate then lose? Well. Um, this is um, referring to the, um, the rules of quorum. So it loses its decision making and then something here that starts with POW. Uh, it's going to be power. So in Italy's Senate, the, they have to have 50% 50, 50 of the members present uh, in order to make uh decisions so decision making power so we're going to in insert something here most likely starting with r 
and then it's the next letter is going to be i because then this r would be the the first letter of the answer so i loses its decision making power e and then this would then be the end s than so this could be a than something than 50% of the members are present and the previous word uh, ends in s so this needs less than les is missing here so power if less than 50% of the members are present so if we look at what we are inserting into this uh, spot here so the the corrected sentence would be italy senate loses its decision making power this r here if less les and then the second s is here less than 50 percent of the members are present and what we inserted was the word rifles so that was our second printer's devil clue and we left here so this is going to be shared with the next answer now 8d everyone seems to love the return of the king but i think i tome film this is going to be another printer's devilry and uh, tome is a word but it doesn't fit in this sentence i tome film it makes no sense so something in this ending here is going to be a need to be changed um, so something we need to insert something either beginning with s or be, be, beginning earlier but starting uh, with this s and uh, so all of this is correct everyone seems to love the return of the king that is the name of a film so the fi word film is going to be uh, relevant as well i tome is going to be something that needs to be changed i think it so we have the word it here and then what would we, what could we add here that uh, since we have the word but that would make this ending mean that uh, you don't love this film as much as everyone else since we have a but here it's going to con uh, contradict the previous part somehow i think it's or it is but since we have an s a starting s here it's going to be it's and then a uh, some kind of film so it's going to be a uh, and now remember this is seven letters so we need a seven letter word inserted here and we have quite a few letters for that seven letter word sa something i r something so it's a uh, question mark i r question mark uh, did i count wrong sa question mark i r and then two letters sorry two letters here so it's a uh, something i r something something ohm film and the word that fits here that means uh, something neg negative in in the context context of a film being enjoyable is the word tiresome if we put so it's a t-i-r-e-s om tiresome it so everyone seems to love the return of the king but i think it's a tiresome film is the corrected sentence and the word we added was satires all of this is uh, spells out the word satires and now we have at least this s to share with the uh, the next answer so we're going to go to 8e one of the principal villains in the series is do law bridge and three letters only um well this is third third in a row that's going to be printer's devilry and if you read this uh, ending here is do law i mean we have two two uh, verbs here that don't work together so something needs to be done about this part so 
so we're talking about some kind of villain in a series. And we need to add only three letters here to make the name of a villain in some kind of series. So we're going to start share this. So it's going to be either E, S and another letter or S, another letter and M. And a word that fits here is the word sum, S-U-M. If you um, add sum into this, uh, specifically here, you get the word of a villain from the Harry Potter franchise. Dolores Umbridge is the, one of the principal villains in the series. So that's the answer to 8E and also a printer's devil with clue. Now, uh, this was the final letter for that answer. So we're going to share this and this Y is going to be part of uh, the next answer. So at, these, at least this M and Y, but it could be this U as well. Let's see. Stories like that of IO, thy S and M is perverted. Um, now, this, um, especially after solving this uh, many uh, printers that are loose in a row, this IO should stand out that, okay, why would you put IO in a clue like that? Um, that's Those are such useful letters that maybe that's printer's devil. Maybe we, we must insert something there, um, which would be wrong, uh, but uh, completely reasonable to look at the word IO and think, okay, this is something needs to be done about this. Uh, but in fact, this is a cryptic clue, and uh, the definition is going to be stories like that of IO. And the word place, thy SMS is perverted. So if you pervert, if you uh, mess up these letters, you get the word myths. And myths, IO was um, a person from a myth, so stories like that of IO is myths. Uh, and obviously, this is intentional like, to make make it look like a printer's level clue, when in reality, it's a, it's a cryptic clue. Uh, so myths, and we we're going to share this S now, at least for for the next across answer. Let's see. So this is the next one, eight G. She described her Fanta King. Place in a magical land. Uh, a Fanta King is not a real thing. And uh, so something's up with this. It doesn't make sense currently. So again, we're looking at a printer's devil clue. A lot of them at the, at the beginning here, even though they are pretty evenly distributed. We have 10, 11, and 10. But it, it seems that we have a lot of these printer devil clues at the start. So we, something happening in a magical land, fanta something would be fantasies maybe, or fantasy. And we have this S here. So could it be that we are uh, uh, inserting either SIS or SY here? Um, and that is correct. So she described her, and now we need six letters. So S something 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 T something. If we put if we put this in plural fantasies, that would make that six letter word S I E S T and then a sixth letter. Well, there's only one word that fits here, and that's siesta. And that will be correct, and that spells uh, that gives us so fantasies. That would be fantasies, and we have T and A which would make this taking place in a magical land. So all in all, she described her fantasies taking place in a magical land, which is the correct clue. Gave us siesta here, and now we know we have to share this A with the, with the following clue. Uh, standing and thus foul. 
Now, foul can be an anagram indicator in cryptix, but uh, we only have seven letters here. We need eight. It's not going to work. We don't have enough words here. Um, this could be a cryptic clue also in uh, as a double definition, something standing and being foul. But in fact, this is just a, a straightforward uh, definition for the word stagnant. So we're st sharing all of these letters, S-T-A. And if something has become uh, gotten a bad smell because it was standing too long, it's stagnant. Stagnant. So ending in this T here, stagnant. Um, but let's look at, actually, we didn't, I didn't realize we had a letter for this three down, but maybe we should look at this. So ending in AU, and we'll get, come back to these acrosses after that. So three down would be over here. Republican assault, taking control of location of parliament building. Now, if this is a cryptic clue, taking control of something can be uh, inserting a thing into another thing. Or it can be, it can also mean a hidden word, hidden, hidden word indicator. So these words have taken control, are taking control over another word that's inside here. And that's, it. that's in fact what is happening here. So the, the definition is going to be, uh, this is a cryptic clue, and the definition is going to be location of parliament building. And uh, if you look inside this, two words, we see the word Nassau, which has this AU at the end, and is the capital city of the Bahamas, which includes um, the parliament building of the Bahamas. So Nassau is our answer here. So that was a cryptic clue. And now we, we were at this T here, so let's continue these acrosses. And we have TA also, this has to be part of the both of these has to be, have to be part of the next answer. So let's see, we solve this one. So among foxes, no house are the Simpsons and Ally McBeal. Now the Simpsons and Ally McBeal are real things that television shows. Fox is a television channel. Know-how is doesn't doesn't mean anything at least spelled like this. So something's uh, this is a um, printer's devil clue, and something needs to be done with this part. Know-hows. So uh, the Simpson and Ally McBeal are shows, and we have house here. So if we add an S here, and remember it doesn't have to be here. It could be like S H if we put them here, but most promising looks S here, right? Because we have the maximum number of letters. So we would need a word ending in S that we can insert here. Let's see if that fits in the grid. So six letters, T, A, something, something, something. The last letter would be S, and it has to be S if we start with this T. Obviously, we could start with and or something and ending here. But if we start with this T, it's going to be ending in S, which works for us. So this would be shows then. And we would be entering TA something, something, something here. So among foxes, not a and three letters shows. Or among foxes, not a and three letters shows. Well, if we put BLE here, would be uh, notable shows. And that would give us a real word for the answer, which is tables. We insert the word tables at this spot to get among Fox's notable shows are The Simpsons and Ally McBeal. So again, this is not part of the answer. Uh, sorry, this is part of the answer. Sorry, I was confused by this, but no, tables, plural is the, the answer here. We needed six letters. So this is part of the, the answer, and this is going to be shared by the next answer then. And the next answer should give us some letters for this five up then. Let's see, this is a long one. The constabs eventually enrolled in the police academy 
to follow in their father's footsteps. Now, um, multiple things should point to us printer's devilry here. To me, maybe the most obvious one is there. Like, there's no no part of this that could this there could now refer to. So we are going to have to come up with a word that this there refers back to. The constabs could be a real thing. A con can be like a, a prisoner and they might stab someone. But if we look at the rest, uh, eventually enrolled in police academy to follow in their father's footsteps. So someone, uh, someone's father was a, a policeman, basically. So how does that work? The is going to be plain. Then we have constab, a uh, word starting constab, meaning a policeman. That, that would be a constable. A constable is a policeman who would have studied in the police academy. So we would be adding LE here, or, or you know, more letters like BLE here. But the most obvious place to look at is here LE, studying LE. So sixth letter, studying LE. Well, if we look past this S, we actually have LE here. So if we share all these letters, that would be six letters, L, E, S, and then three more. Um, so the constables, then three letters, S, eventually enrolled in the police academy. Um, so the constables, what? If, if it's their fathers, um, it's going to be the children of the 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 constable, right? The constables, now three letters plus S, uh, that would give uh, the option of putting sons there, S-O-N. And that does, if we put constable, apostrophe S, and then son, S-O-N, that does pro uh, produce a real word, lesson. So we would be adding the word lesson between this B and S here. So the constable's sons eventually enrolled in the police academy to follow in their father's footsteps. And that does make sense. So lesson was the answer to that one. Now we are at this N, but we are going to look at this up answer first. So it starts with SO and it's six letters. Let's go all the way down for the up. So it's five up. Musicians recording some of the eyed ape recorder. Uh, now this is really looking like we get almost exclusively these uh, printers they have already close. There's no, I mean, an ape recorder is not a thing. I don't know if you realized, but uh, a tape recorder would be a real thing. So we would be needing a T here. How would that work then? I'd, uh, there's a word in the dictionary that's I'd, like the, uh, no, wait, it's Ides of March. I don't think that's Id. But in any way, idea would be spelled here. So it could be adding something beginning with A, or it could be taking this idea and adding something ending in TA at this point. So um, it's going to be the latter. So since we don't have a letter, an answer starting with A, we have an answer starting with SO. So it's going to be idea, and then we have something starting with SO, ideas, or, and the end is going to be tape recorder, then TA, and this end, P recorder. So a word, we need two, letter, two letters more, a word, that's a real word in the dictionary, um, that fits this. And it's going to be sonata, which is a type of musical composition. Um, and it's going to be musicians recording some of their ideas, this S here, on a tape recorder. So Sonata was inserted between this A and this P here. Uh, obviously, if this, um, these crossing answers are also, if you can't solve them, you, you're going to get all the letters anyway from this acrosis, and then you can just figure out why why it fits. Or if you're lazy, you can just 
forget about it because you got all the letters anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's why I like to solve these before we go all the way with the across answers. So that's that was the, the answer to this five up. And now we don't have any more crossing letters, so we're going to go back to this N and continue with the across answers. And uh, we have this cons tab, so this is the next one. To properly enjoy as a UT wig, whisk to beat your skin. And I can't believe it, this is another printer's devilry. And I haven't kept count, but I mean, we are closing in on number 10, right? I have to be, uh, but I'm not going to count them. Uh, but basically, uh, we it looks like we're getting a lot of these printers devil clues early on. So this is another uh, another printers devilry. And uh, I mean, if you look at this middle part, as a UT wig, UT wig is not a real thing. Uh, uh, so something's going on here. To properly enjoy a something, starting with S A U, and then we would be putting something here, and then the rest would be twig. The word twig here, spelled out, whisk to beat your screen. Now a twig whisk uh, doesn't sound like a real word, but actually it is. It's something yet that you would use in a sauna. So SAU, we have SAU here, and we have this uh, crossing N. So sauna. To properly enjoy a sauna, do something with twig whisk to beat your skin. It's going to be use a. Use a twig whisk to beat your skin. That is what you do in a sauna, if you're into that sort of thing. So, to properly enjoy a sauna, and a here, use a twig whisk to beat your skin. And the letter, uh, the word we inserted was nausea, n a u s e a. So here we are with the across answers. Um, should we go one more? So we have two crossing letters for this four. So this, let's do one more. We are going to share at least this a here. A member of the U.S. Navy's Special Forces. Four letters uh, and an abbreviation. Well, that is a straight answer. And uh, the U.S. Navy's Special Forces are the Navy SEALs. So one of them would be a SEAL, singular. S-E, and we are sharing all of these letters and only adding this L here. A SEAL which is an abbreviation of something or other. But anyway, we have the L now to, to share with the, the next answer. But let's look at four up first. Starting with LA and four letters, shouldn't be that hard. One teaching Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, it is a straight definition for a Lama. A Lama is a, a teacher in Buddhism, Tibetan Buddhism. You have the Dalai Lama and all kinds of other Lamas. So that's our answer there. Just a straight clue here. So now we're going to continue with... Um, now let's see, we don't have any other crossings. So these these are the, the two down clues are the, the remaining ones that we could have crossing letters, but we don't have any yet. So let's continue with these crosses. So the seal was the previous one. <clears throat> the Cougar I Safe Pack i.e. sin, North America, that's very widely spread. <clears throat> and uh, if you can make any sense of that, congratulations, because uh, pec is a muscle, sin doesn't make any sense here. Uh, this rest of the, the sentence, no, in North America, if we have in here, that's very widely spread. Something in North America is very widely spread. Okay, that makes sense. The cougar is a real thing, but I mean this whole uh, stretch is is nonsense. So how do we fix it? And we can only insert something in one one place. So we have to fix all of that by inserting five letters, and obviously we can change the spacing and punctuation and things like that. 
So let's see what words we can form here first. Is a something. Fep, F-E, something. But then we have pec, I-E-S. And that could spell species. If we have an S, an answer ending in S. Now let's see if we could have an answer, five letters ending in S. L, something, N, something, S. That could be an option. So, uh, how would that work then? If this is species, we are inserting something like this. So the cougar is a first something species in North America that's very far, widely spread. Well, the cougar is a, a cat, right? It's a feline species. And if we put Fe is here already, and if we put the rest of feline here, it spells out lines for us. And that is a real word. So we would be inserting the word lines and it would read, the cougar is a feline species in North America that's very widely spread. And that is a correct sentence. So um, that was lines and that was another printer's delivery. Let's continue with the, the acrosses. So we have S here to, to share and possibly other letters. Let's see. Works out love in order to get aboard ship. So um, can this be a straight definition? Is there a six letter word that means works out love in order to get aboard ship? No, I don't think there is. Um, can this be cryptic? Now, to get aboard is, a, is an indicator. Uh, some, a word gets aboard another word, it goes inside the other word. In order can be you put the letters in a different order. So could this be the word love in order? Um, um, put the letters of love in a different order and place them inside a two-letter abbreviation for ship. And a very common uh, abbreviation for ship is SS in cryptics. So if we put love in some order in SS, can we get a word that means works out? S would be, and the other S would be here. And if we anagram love, we get O-L-V-E and solves. If you work out the answer to a puzzle, you solve it. Solves is works out. So that was the answer to the cryptic clue of 8N. Now then, we have one letter for one down. So let's look at that. It's going to end in S. Tavern in the Simpsons. And we have a repetition of this, the Simpsons. We have it in, had it in an earlier clue as well. So that looks like just a, just a straight definition. And uh, it's going to be the name of a tavern in the show, The Simpsons. And uh, the name of the tavern in that show is Moe's, M-O-E-S. So that's just a straight, a straight clue for Moe's. And now that we've put that in, we can just continue from this S onwards. So where were we? We were, we saw this one. And now we have this uh, Mark Tours, Los Angeles, with no particular direction. And that is six letters. So either starting with this and going here, or it could be could start with V E S or E S. Now. Los Angeles is uh, very often referred to as LA. So it's going to be LA here or even LA here. And um, what else can we say about that? Um, so we, uh, tours, yeah, tours can be, uh, Mm, around you tour a uh, word tours another word it goes around it right so la would be one of these and it, in this case it's going to be here and uh we need a three uh 
how many four letters starting with this s to mean mark and that's not a person named mark that is a mark some kind of mark and if you have a mark on your skin a type of mark is a scar if scar uh, towards this la here we get scalar and if uh, a variable is scalar it has no particular direction it's not a vector it's a scalar so that's the definition for scalar uh, no but with no particular direction all of this so that was a cryptic clue for scalar and we are uh, now sharing at least this r could be more and we also have this ma already here let's see 8p is one frequenting the forum question mark five letters if we start with this we would only need two more letters and um, the forum uh, was the meeting place in ancient rome so one frequenting the forum someone who would go to the forum often would be a roman r-o-m-a-n and that fits perfectly here so roman is the answer here and this is just a straight straight clue then then we have this final two down we have an o here so we can maybe solve that and then we only have the acrosses left so let's see way to create way to greet a modern day 8p and 8p was the one we just solved so way to greet a modern day roman was the answer to this one how would you greet a roman modern day romans are the speak italian so how would you greet them four letters uh ending in o and the answer you might say is ciao c-i-a-o and that's just a straight straight uh, straight clue for ciao and now we have all the crossing answers done so all that's left now is the rest of these acrosses so we solve this one we have 8q so let's see and we have this n n to share here australians and new zealanders in wwi and five letters which is an abbreviation and this is a straight answer uh, cluing the word anzac uh, which is australian and new zealand is it army corps which was the 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 australian new zealand troops in in the world uh, in the first world war so anzac here ending in this c so now we have to share at least this c and possibly other other letters and the next answer is going to be this and it's only three letters so we we are going to have it already spelled out here it's either cta which doesn't seem likely or act 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 seems more likely right so let's see area containing many embassies one near connecticut uh, three and it's an abbreviation so one is a connecticut is abbreviated ct and act is uh, an abbreviation for australian capital territory which is an area containing many embassies so act was the answer here not the word act but the abbreviation act and this t is now going to be the last letter of it so we're going to have to share this with the next answer brown fellows excursion um and we're sharing uh, this t and we also have a and n here now tan the word tan is a shade of brown so could this be a cryptic clue starting with this tan meaning excursion um a fellow is a gent a gentleman a fellow and if you go off in a, on a tangent you go off on an excursion you stray off the topic so tangent uh defined by this excursion here and we're sharing now this t with the next dance so this was a cryptic clue brown tan fellow gent and that makes tangent 
Uh, then next one we have uh, starting with either this T or at least sharing this T. I mean, you could start with wherever G and T or NTO or ENTO, but this T is going to be shared and this O is going to be part of it then, uh, as well. So terrible mentor is behind the student's right to cause distress. So terrible is a, an indicator in cryptics, meaning something is terrible, it's in the wrong order. So you would be anagramming this, these six letters. And that is behind, that is after, students write. Now what's students write? Uh, if you look at the word student spelled out like this, the right rightmost letter is this T here. So students right would be this T. And we need seven letters. So T plus the six letters, which is mentor anagrammed. And if we anagram mentor after this T, we get something that means to cause distress, which is torment. So these six letters here uh, are mentor anagrammed. Torment. And the last letter, uh, is this T here, which is going to be shared with the next one. So that was a cryptic clue. Then we have 8U, located in northwest Iran, Azerbaijan's capital city. Uh, now this could be um, could be a straight clue. Azerbaijan is a region of Iran, but it's not. It's a, it's a cryptic clue. And this is another hidden word clue. Located in these words is a capital city. And it starts with this TI here, which is which are these TI. TI R A N A. Tirana is located in these words. And that is the capital city of Albania. So Tirana is the answer here. And um, then we have this A is going to be shared and this C is going to be part of the answer as well. So, tortilla chips with melted cheese. Now, melted could be an anagram indicator in a cryptic, but there is actually a six letter answer that just means this, which is nachos. Nachos are, is a dish with tortilla chips uh, with melted cheese. And other things. So um, we have this N A C here already. So it's going to be H O S, and that's our answer. And now we have one final answer. So this is going to be these five letters S something something M something. Many aquatic species have lived in this type of environment and proceeded along the surface of the water quietly. Now that is a very long clue, and it sounds like it could define something. It could be a straight, uh, uh, straight definition for for some kind of aquatic environment. Uh, but in fact, this is a, and we could count the clues how many of each type we have. But this is uh, this final one is a cryptic clue. So this part is the definition. Many aquatic species have lived in this type of environment. And then we have a charades uh, type of wordplay here. So proceeded along the surface. If you proceeded along the surface of the water, all of this uh, clues the word swam. You swam, you proceeded along the surface of the water. And quietly in music is uh, P for piano. You might see it in a music score. So if you put P after swam, you get swamp. And a swamp is... A, um, an environment where many aquatic species have lived. So we put the P here, and that is our finished grid. So um, now all that's left to do is figuring out what the final answer is. And we are looking for the name of a religious site. So let's put these grids next to each other. We have it all right. uh, still in this. Yeah, this is the solved uh, solved Akari. So let's look at the placement of these lamps. So highlight everything that's 
that's highlighted here with these lamps and see what we can find. So let's see a color that works here, maybe blue. Uh, so this is blue, then the second to last here, and then all of these four, then one here, and skip one and here, it's going to be this one. Then there's three empties, and then there's there are all these three. And then these are just diagonally, these two. And we have one more, which is this second, second square here. Then we have three empties here and these three. Two empties here and this one. And is that all our all our highlighted cells? I think it is. And um, now we can look at, just read this in a normal order and see what it uh, spells out. So let's see. So we have M-A-R-I-A, -A, so Maria, Z-E-L-L-Z-L, B-A-S-I-L-I-C-A, -I -I Basilica. Maria Zell Basilica is going to be our answer. So, uh, let's look up what on earth that is. So we have the map, but let's look at this one first. So it's, oh, let's zoom in a little bit. So here we are, Maria Zell Basilica, or, or Maria Zell Basilica, is a place in Austria, and it's an important pilgrimage destination. So a lot of people, visiting it and Gladys is now one of them and that's a sort of religious site that Gladys is today let's look at the map how how we are going on the map so zoom out a little bit we were in Romania we were in Lithuania we were last last time we were in Copenhagen Denmark and now we are in Mariazell Austria so that's our trip so far, and we can actually zoom out to see what kind of trajectory we are we've currently had. So we are, we just sort of went all the way through here, and now we're in Central Europe. That's going to be all for this episode 18. Now, quick word for about episode 19. That is going to be a standard crossword, nothing weird like, like this time. And we also have a Sura Romu puzzle in addition to that. And that one is going to be titled, uh, is it Layers Upon Layers? Let's just scroll down because I might be confusing myself. Layers Upon Layers, yeah. So that's going to be episode 19. And I will see you then. Thanks for watching.